the nature of the job and being a chief executive does mean you have some isolation. You have, you have that standoff between your management team and you because you are the final arbitrator and have to make decisions that, that, that can't be collegiate. So by, by nature, the role creates this, this kind of isolation. And I think that that's, that's fit and proper and that's just, just the way that things are. Uh, I think a, a way to sort of, I guess, um, have some balance to that is to go and have people you can speak to. And for me, that's, that's things like Critical Eye, where I'm meeting people running businesses. They can be any kind of business, but actually a lot of the themes are very, very similar. It, it, and the commonality actually is, is quite, quite surprising when you get to speak about it. As a, as a leader, um, it, it, can be, it can be isolated. Um, you sit with a lot of responsibility. Um, and actually that external checkpoint, the peer-to-peer -peer connection is, is, is absolutely vital. And one, it gives you a, a sense of, am I doing the right thing? But also it gives you the external view and a different viewpoint to bring new ideas and new thought process into an organisation. Part of recruiting the team that you want around you is ensuring that you've got people that can be a really good sounding board for you. So for me, that's really important, right? Because I, I don't want to be isolated at the table. Now that said, I think you do need to be, you, you, you can't just be an echo chamber as a leadership team um, and you do need to, you know, look more broadly. I mean, I just recently had the experience of doing a pop-up board, loved it. Like my team were just so happy with it. I took the whole leadership team in and we did a pop-up board together and they just loved it. And, I, and, it, and it's, it's kind of really made me think about how do I keep bringing that external perspective into the business at that leadership level. I think the pace of change in the world just grows exponentially and because of that um, you can never be certain that the information you're dealing with and, and the experiences you have are, are still relevant so ensuring that you have the ability to network and check in with other organisations, um, colleagues, counterparts is a really important part to think of leadership and um, yeah, the, the pace of change is definitely just making that even more important as, as we go forwards. Well, I think certainly the last 18 months has been particularly challenging for almost all businesses and nobody would have fully modelled what to do in the face of the pandemic that we've all had to, to deal with. So that does mean that leaders have to still be able to step back and look at things from afar, notwithstanding the fires that might be uh, present in, in terms of the shock to, to the system. And external reference points are clearly important there, whether that's uh, peers, um, uh, wider stakeholders, or indeed uh, other uh, learnings or, or mentoring groups that might be available, uh, really having as broad a spectrum of, of reference points as possible in that kind of uncertain situation is of huge value.